Presidential Records Act. It also doesn't give Trump the authority to just take documents and keep them in a ballroom. This was a raid on Mar-a-Lago, Caitlin, versus working with Joe Biden and saying he willfully broke the law but refusing to prosecute. But it that's is selective my point. prosecution. That's my point because prosecution. Trump did not hand over the documents no, for more than a year. It is selective prosecution could tell you from that. the just, DOJ, from Joe team. Biden's DOJ, ordered by Merrick Garland not to prosecute against Joe Biden, even though it specifically found that he willfully broke the law. It was an and on top of that, the reason, the reason why they're not prosecuting is because they say he's mentally unfit to put in front, uh, to, to pursue that. That is unheard of, and it is selective prosecution. And it's why people inherently know across this country, if your last name happens to be Biden or Clinton, you get to live by a different set of rules than everyday average Americans. Welcome back. Simple Sun here. Um, uh, today we're talking about Joe Biden. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Um, the special counsel released their their multiple page judgment on um, Joe Biden and his mishandling of uh, classified information. Um, shocker, he's not going to prison most likely. Um, but we're we're going to take a look at a, a clip from Fox News. We're going to find out a little bit deeper information, and we'll come back and then we'll talk about it after that. I'll see you in a minute. The release of special counsel Robert Hur's report on President Biden's handling of classified documents. No charges are being recommended. 345 pages. And while there are no charges, it is still damning for not only President Biden, but his administration. We have photographs that show Biden's garage, the president's garage at his Wilmington, Delaware home with boxes, tattered, ripped, torn boxes containing classified documents. You remember he told our Peter Deuce that he kept them in his garage. It's not like they were out on the street, something along those lines. So we know that a lot of these documents had to do with Afghanistan and his uh, opposition to his boss, then President Obama's decision to send a troop surge to Afghanistan. It says, quote, we have also considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview of him as a sympathetic well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. It would be difficult to convince a jury that they should convict him of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. Shouldn't be held on account for his crimes. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're charging the same thing for Donald Trump. Can he act like he's, uh, you know, brain dead and, and, you know, he has no memory? Can I act like that? Can you act like that? Um, and then, and then, you know, Joe Biden responds, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, but the special counsel coming out and saying that, to me, it, it, you know, from my personal view, from my perspective, I feel that that was a plant. I got to be honest with you. That's it, it, it almost feels like it's obfuscating the law. It, almost like his people said, hey, you know, special counsel people, put this in the, 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 the report so we don't have to charge Joe Biden with anything at all, you know. Because his last name is Biden. Why would you charge somebody's last name with Biden with a crime, right? You you don't you don't charge Bidens with a crime, just like you don't charge Clintons with a crime. What the hell's wrong with you? So you know th- it feels like a plant, like you know, to obfuscate from the truth that you know he committed criminal acts for years. For information, he wasn't president of the United States. I wonder if everybody remember he was he was the vice president of the United States. He had classified information, classified information he was sharing with his ghostwriter, uh, classified information that was just laying around, uh, perusing around his house. If you came to his home, regardless of who you are, you could have picked this classified information up, and it was very detailed war plans. I mean, the most uh, nonsensical way to keep classified information just laying around, telling them it's in the basement. Uh, it, it's, it's so insane. And, uh, we have a clip through, uh, we have a, uh, actually a series of clips through, uh, CNN. Um, some of their legal experts came in and weighed in. Um, and, you know, shockingly, they were, they were f- fair, you know. They, they actually, at least the one guy was fair. People kind of questioned it. So, um, we'll take a look at them clips and, and come back. I, 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 I know you're probably just as upset as I am. That uh, if you did something like this, you'd be in handcuffs, regardless of you being the president of the United States. Because, I mean, if you're going to charge Donald Trump with that, you would have to charge Joe Biden with that as well, right? So, um, let's take a look at these clips and we'll be right back. The soft factors. And you're allowed to do that. You have to do that as a prosecutor. And he takes into consideration things like 
what he says, and maybe this is overstated, maybe not, I'll leave that to the political folks, but he says essentially Joe Biden would have created a sympathetic picture in front of a jury. He had memory issues, he had age issues, and that goes into did he, was he able to form the mental intent here? Here are the facts. Joe Biden, established by this report, Joe Biden retained sensitive classified documents after he left the vice presidency. Marked the, classified? Or yes, marked classified, highest level, top secret SCI. They related to our international affairs, to war plans, to foreign relations. He knew it. He knew it. He's on tape after he's out of the vice presidency saying to his autobiographer, the classified documents are in the basement. He knew it. But he just denied that. That's, exactly. that, that so was that's a key part of the report. It's a second sentence in the report, and he just denied sharing that with the ghostwriter. And I yep. just looked at this closely. Uh, they had recorded conversations between Biden and this ghostwriter. Exactly. Didn't I hear that? Um, like I was telling you. They laid it out fairly, you know, obviously, for for most people to understand. Very layman's terms. Um, he did X, Y, Z. He did X, Y, Z. He did X, Y, Z. A, B, C happened. Um, or vice versa. However you want to see that analogy. But you can't say that he didn't do something illegal. The fact is, it's way worse than what Donald Trump could have ever done. Donald Trump was the president of the United States. Again, he had the ability to declassify things. He's seen things that a vice president should never see. With with, with exception of like very few, you know, extreme cases. Um, but he had materials that he probably shouldn't have had. Ex and he definitely had material that he shouldn't have been just laying around his house. Um, and he laid this out. Now, you're going to say, well, what did Joe Biden say? Well, we're going to find out what Joe Biden said. We, we have a few clips for him, and I guess he can explain himself, you know. I mean, he, he obviously is innocent. He's innocent in all this. So how does he explain himself that, you know, the special counsel says he's too old to be charged with a crime? They'd be too sympathetic, even though they clearly found a crime that— that committed and reached the threshold the the charge went of crime. Let's see what he has to say about it. President Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out. is your memory, and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. That's you, uh, that's you that's. Feel what your I'm, memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, president. Look, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory. Take a look at what I've done since I become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Do you take responsibility for at least being careless with classified material? I take responsibility for not having seen exactly what my staff was doing. There's, it goes in and points out. Things that appeared in my garage, things that came out of my home, things that were moved, were moved not by me, but my staff. But my staff. The conduct of the response in Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. I think that, uh, as you know, initially the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. As you've seen in those clips, he takes responsibility. He says, my memory is fine. Um, you know, the the president of Mexico, you know, Sisi, the guy just happens to be named the same guy uh, that runs Egypt. He blames his, his staff, his people, for what he's doing. He's, you know, that's leadership, folks. You know, when you're a leader, you know, they, the old saying is, let's fall downhill. He's, he's doing what leaders usually do. They blame the, their underlings. I don't know what you think. He should face something, or at the very least, no longer be the president of the United States because basically his mind is so warped that he can't even understand what's happening. 
the analogy to this would be if a prosecutor said about me, uh, this person couldn't have committed this crime. His wrist is too weak to hold a knife. And I said, wait a second here. I can hold a knife just perfectly fine. Look, I can even do a stabbing motion. That's the analogy what he just did. He just said, no, no, no. My memory is fine. I, I, can, I can obviously be held accountable for my crimes. Listen to the President of the United States. He, he just said that. Right? I mean, I feel bad for his son, right? I feel bad for that, that situation with his kid, but lots of people have struggled. Lots of people have things that, that, you know, people they've lost people. They've, I mean, how many people have lost, you know, their lives because of illegal border crossings, the invasion? How many people have lost their lives for a million other things? But they still have to go on. They still have to be held accountable. They still have struggle. Um... You know, again, it's a sad moment in, in our history as the United States that our president of the United States is basically so brain dead that he can't be held competent. He, it's the first time in history that a sitting U.S. president has been, could not be held accountable because of his mental status. You know, it's sad in our, our, our history and our future is, 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 I don't, I don't, I hate to use the word bleak, but it, it looks dark. Um, and this is on the, the heels of uh, uh, Vladimir Putin's interview where he's close to the same age as Joe Biden. I mean, he's close, but he, you know, he, within, you know, mental status, he held his own for over two hours and talked. The decisions being made by his people to say, and, and you know, even in the media, to say that he's on that same level so he can go and represent us overseas, which he can't. Right. He's, he's incapable of doing it. Any fair and honest person would say that he's incapable of representing us anymore. Hopefully they do, you know, invoke the 25th Amendment. For our sake. For our sake. He's, he's, his, his time has passed. He is free and clear. He will not be prosecuted for his crimes. Even though Donald Trump probably will be prosecuted for his. Um... It's it's time for us to think of ourselves. It's time for us to be a little bit more selfish um, in this country. We we have nothing. He, he, you know his name's Biden. He walks free. Um, you're still struggling. So again, he'll probably come out again and deny it and say I'm perfectly fine. I I my memory is great. I say give him exactly what he asked for. Charge him with a crime. And we'll see where it goes. Doubt anything to come from it. It might have just been a, uh, you know, a Democratic news blast to cover up the Putin Tucker, you know, situation interview. But yeah, we'll see where this goes. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Give me a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me what you want to see next. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.